The last sort of culmination of, of these changes in our philosophy around grading is how we're recognizing students at graduation. So we've made a change effective this year with our seniors to move away from the valedictorian, salutatorian system to a Latin honors system, a collegiate honors framework. And so we're recognizing students as summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude. So students who are summa cum laude are with a 3.9 or higher GPA, summa cum laude are with a 3.7 to 3.89, and students who are graduating cum laude are 3.5 to 3.69. And again, this is the kind of system that colleges are using versus uh, valedictorian, salutatorian. Let me just talk a little bit about the reasons. So why do this? For one, it's about my achievement against the standards, not against my peers. So being valedictorian, and by the way, class rank will still appear on the transcript. Okay? So we've not made any decision to take class rank off the transcript. There are some high schools that, that have decided to do that. Because they, they may have a student who ends up ranked 35th in their class, and their fear is that a college is going to look at that and say, that's not high enough. But when you actually look at the transcript and the coursework that that student completed, it's very rigorous coursework that very well prepared them for what they want to study in school. But again, that class rank may work against them. We have not made a decision to move away from putting the rank on the transcript. Okay, so that will appear. But again, we don't want students to be saying, I have to choose my classes based on whether it's a weighted grade or not, or whether the kid I'm competing with for valedictorian is taking it or not. I should be choosing my classes based on what I want to do after high school. So if my career pathway is one that doesn't include all weighted grades, okay, I don't, we don't want students to say, well, then I'm not going to study these things, even though they're going to help me to do what I want to do after high school, because I have to have all honors, all AP classes. We want students to take those classes if they're going to help them in the direction they want to go, okay, but not because they want to be ranked such and such. And so graduation speakers are not going to be chosen by virtue of the fact that you graduated number one in your class. They're going to be chosen on the merits of their speeches. So the schools have developed a system for students to submit a graduation speech to be selected by a committee to be given at the graduation ceremony. So the valedictorian certainly has every opportunity to speak at graduation, but it will be on the merits of what they have to say not just on the fact that they graduated number one in the class. So it gives students an opportunity to participate in that element of graduation who may not be the very number one in their class. And the difference between number one and number two a lot of times is, you know, this much. The other problem we've had with valedictorian, lots of schools have had, is valedictorian and salutatorian most often are named based on their um, 11th semester, after the first semester of their senior year. There are times in particular school years where that student who was valedictorian after the 11th semester might slip. And so by the end of the second semester, just a couple days before graduation, we find out that that student is no longer ranked number one in the class. But they've already been named valedictorian at senior awards night, or they've already been named in the program. They've already been informed they're going to give the graduation speech. And so it's too late to do anything about it now. So those are just you know, other problems. They're not the reason to move away from this, but they are problems that are part of using a valedictory system. One of the things we want you to understand is there are a lot of school districts that are moving in this direction. So this is a sampling of a lot of area school districts that have moved away from valedictorian, salutatorian toward a collegiate honor system. So that's something we, you know, we want to make sure that you understand is you know, it's becoming common locally and nationally that at the high school level this whole issue of class rank and valedictorian is one that is counterproductive for preparing kids for what they want to do beyond high school.